G'day everyone, and for those who came in late, welcome. You are watching another one of Chronicle Chambers video reviews. Today we are looking at the Hermes Press Volume The Phantom, the complete DC Comics Volume 1. So this is the hardcover that came out in uh, 2021, late 2021, um, which gathers, as it suggests, the DC Comics from the 1980s. 1988, uh, DC Comics put out a four-parter, and in 1989, they started a 12-part series of The Phantom. This gathers the first uh, four stories from the four-parter, and then the first two stories um, from the Luke McDonald and Mark Verheiden series. But um, predominantly, we're looking at the Joe Orlando and Dave Gibbons um, stories with Peter David obviously on the writing. Um, that's the original cover from the first of the four parter and um, because uh, I really like this we've got the uh, the um, poster, the original advertising poster there, that's pretty cool. Um, we've got a bit of an introduction and because Peter David was the author, uh, we of course have got an interview with him to begin it. Um, and in typical Hermes Press, Press fashion, that's pretty much a transcription of a conversation between Dan Herman, the publisher, and Peter David. And we go through and we see uh, the, entire, the entire interview with him, which is really insightful and great reading to hear what Peter David um, has to say, then we have a, uh, a, a short um, essay on Joe jo Orlando, who of course is the uh, the pencil artist for the four-parter DC Phantom. Now, this is the, uh, as we flick through it, this is the start of the uh, the first comic. What you'll notice is it's a nice clean version of the uh, of the cover, by which I mean it doesn't have the DC logo up in the top corner and that sort of thing. I don't actually have a copy of DC number one, but that's an example of what the cover of DC number seven in the series looked like. So just obviously that bit, that stuff's missing from up in the top corner there with regard to the cover. Um, then as we go through, nice glossy pages as you can see. Um, probably a little bit too glossy in this light. Just tip it up a little bit perhaps. Um, so you can see the, the, the quality of the paper there and the quality of the, uh, the colour, which is uh, really, really cool, stands out for me. Um, some people have asked about the, uh, the double page spreads because just when you look at the... When you look at it open like that, you can see a white boundary or border around each page. And so, for instance, a double page spread uh, might look like this one here on page 25. So we, we sort of kind of saw that as we flicked past. Now that's, a, as you can see, obviously one big image that's split by a pretty ugly white bar when it comes to this is, this issue. Um, again, by way of comparison, I suppose that's what it uh, could look like. And there's obviously not double spreads, um, those pages, but you can see that the color goes, or the the colouring goes right to the the bit or the edge of the page in those. So that's lost a little bit when it comes to the Hermes Press version. But I guess what I would say about that, and, and again, I don't actually have the original of any of the six comics in that have been gathered in this trade paperback. Um, so I can't give you a side by side, which is unfortunate, but that's part of the reason why I really like having the trade paperback is to read books that I haven't had access to. I guess by way of comparison with the colours, and again, perhaps with the light, it's a little bit difficult. But um, these are a little bit more dull, I suppose, as opposed to the brighter colours, as you would expect with the, the quality that Hermes Press bring in terms of the paper quality in particular. It's a glossy print and so the colours are not a lot brighter and all the rest of it. And that, I guess, comes back to personal choice as to which you prefer, um, whether you're, you like the, uh, the muddier style. Um, and muddy is an unfair term, but the, the, the more matte style of, uh, of the originals. Um, some of the things that are of interest here, so if we have a look at, uh, for instance, the end of the, and as, you, as I was flipping through this original uh, version, you can see that there are letter pages, and so those have come across. However, every time I've gone through this and it straight away it opens up onto advertisements and that sort of thing, um, those ads do not make their way into the the final uh, into the Hermes press gathering and even the back cover is ads for on all of the issues that I've got so presumably for the first six here as well so we just go straight we flip the page and go straight into the next story um, or the next issue with again one of those um, naked covers uh, really clear covers which uh, makes for a nice um, title page I suppose as you as you work through the trade paperback um, perhaps a little criticism I might have in that regard, and it's a minor one only, I suppose, but if we get to, where are we? It was around here. So yeah, this is the, uh, nope, go back a little, go back. Must be on 25. 
yeah so this is the end of the four part story um and spoilers <laughs> um but that's the end of the the four part story and just in by the way the way it finishes it off so it's clearly a um clearly what well, doesn't say the end but it's um it wraps up pretty clearly um and then we flip straight into part one of the 12 part series so it might have been nice to have a little bit more of a distinction between that or a little bit of a gap um, somehow to do identify that we're into a new arc um, as much as anything um, as i flip past them i'm reminded that uh, we don't have the the skulls in the uh, inside covers there that we have seen in past hermes press so if i bring up the don newton one these skulls on the inside pages there were pretty common um, in terms of what hermes have done before um, consistent in that regard there I suppose but um, anyway um, just a just a point of note that that is a little bit different the quality of the book we know it's Hermes Press we know it's going to be good quality um, really good strong hardcover um, the the information it gives you in the blurb the artwork um, is really really well done now, one thing I would like to say just while I'm, you know, not just reviewing the book, but actually, um, as I suggested there before, this is the first time I've actually read um, myself any of these 1980s American comics, because um, I probably haven't tried hard enough to, to collect them, to be honest. But as I say, I have picked up a, a few of the, the later issues, 7, 8, 9 and 12, I think, um, I actually do own. Um, so for me, it was really nice to actually read these stories, which I haven't read before and a lot of people have raved about. And I can certainly see why. Um, it's a it's a it's an entertaining read, um, and um, does some things with the story arc in terms of like Rex is the is the Kit and Heloise type figure in this one, I suppose, which is an interesting choice because Kit and Heloise were certainly around by 1988, but um, the uh, Peter David's chosen to use um, to choose Rex, which is cool, um, and the way he's reading the the. The Chronicles and that sort of thing is a nice plot device. Um, a criticism might be that I find the um, the font for the Chronicles a little bit hard to read, and actually, certainly by comparison with the uh, the dialogue boxes for um, the main story, I did. And as I was reading this, I found myself skipping over these a little bit rather and letting letting the story tell the art rather than trying to read the words, which um, is probably a bit of a shame when it comes to the. The narrative, um, certainly the depictions of violence um, in these sorts of in this American version is um, a bit more full on than probably this Australian used to read is used to reading. Um, in terms of the way that uh, some of the stuff has been depicted, there's a there's a murder of a jungle patrolman, there's a a rape or an alleged rape or a, a setup of a rape anyway, a um, and a suicide that all happens and and largely graphically depicted, um, which I guess is just a different type of style than uh, than what I might otherwise be used to so um, on the whole though really enjoyed reading the stories and glad that I had access to them and really glad that I had access to them in such a good quality um, in such a good quality book so uh, the Phantom the complete DC Comics volume one um, absolutely recommend you get a hold of it I found mine at my local comic book shop so thank you Todd from Kaboom um, but you should be able to pick this up on Amazon or, or even go straight to the Hermes Press website and order it straight from them um, book depository all of, all of the good normal places where good books are sold all right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got a little bit out of it. And uh, until next time, happy fanning.